Welcome to Forex Investor School. My name is Everton Harding, and I'm a professional Forex trader. Now I'll be answering questions on Forex, but you can visit me at forexeasytips.com to get the latest questions and answers on Forex delivered directly to your mailbox. Now let's start with the first question. How do I choose the right broker? Someone asked me the other day, how do I choose a Forex broker? Now, if you want to be at least involved with the Forex market, you're going to have to have a broker. Everyone needs a broker in order to trade Forex. But the problem comes in is that Forex is becoming so popular these days that there are so many brokers popping up all over the place. So how do you decide which broker is good, which broker is not so good? There are probably five things you should take a look at. The first thing is the spread that the broker is offering. Now the spread is basically the difference between the the price that you see quoted on the screen when you're on the platform uh, compared to the actual price that you that you get when you when you place your particular buy or sell order, and that little difference is the commissions that the broker is actually taking, and that those commissions allow the broker to be able to make money. Now most brokers will publish their their spread online on their website so you can see what it is. The spread usually comes in two different flavors. It's usually a fixed spread or a variable spread. Now the fixed spread is exactly what it means. It means that no matter what, any time of day or night, the, the spread is always the same. And what is a variable spread? A variable spread fluctuates and it depends on the, the, the time of night. So when the market is quiet, the spread may be very small. And when the market is more volatile or busy, then the, the market, then the spread becomes very, very large. What I would recommend, especially if you're starting off as a new broker, is to stay conservative and just choose a fixed spread in this case. The second thing you should take a look at is the execution of your order. Some brokers will show their live prices on the trading platform. And the question is, will they honor those prices when you push the buy or sell button? And the best way to find out is to open up a demo account and give it a test for yourself. I always recommend give it a test drive to make sure that it's operating the way that it should. Because there's no sense in, um, in having to wait around 10 minutes for your order to be placed. You want to see that the order is executed on time and quickly. The third thing you want to take a look at is the trading platform. The trading platform is basically your interface between the broker and the Forex marketplace. So having good trading software is worth this price in gold. You want the ability to, to have stop losses, uh, to make sure you don't get yourself in trouble with, with quotes, because you don't want to be staring at the at the screen the whole time deciding when to when to buy or sell. You want the software to take care of itself. And you also want to have proper charts and indicators so you can make proper decisions. So you want to make sure you get a demo account and try out the trading platform to understand if it works for you. The fourth thing you want to take a look at is the support that's that's being given by the broker. Since Forex is a 24-hour market, uh, the broker should be available and offer 24-hour support. And because you really you could be trading at 3 a.m. and there's and Something could happen, like your computer goes down, or, or, and you have to make a phone call in order to get out of a trade, or, or something freezes up. You want to make sure that there are people there involved to help you out. So the broker's office should be available 24 hours a day. Other thing you want to take a look at is the financial security of the broker that you're dealing with. Now, when I say financial security, I mean that you want to make sure that you do your homework about the company. Uh, Forex brokers are regulated, but that doesn't mean that they all have equal backing. If the market collapses, you want to make sure that the, the broker has enough reserves in order to uh, be able to cope with withdrawals. So you'll be able to get your money when you when you need to. And if a broker is elusive about giving you proper answers to your questions regarding you know who the parent company is or, or who backs them financially, then you should probably look at a different broker. So just to summarize everything, uh, choosing a Forex broker isn't difficult, but just don't rush into the decision. Check out a few and try out demo accounts first to make sure that you're happy with the way everything works before sending off your first check to get started with the broker. My name is Everton Harding. Thank you for visiting me. 
Now, if you have any questions on Forex, you can ask them at forexeasytips.com. Now, you can also get all of the questions and answers delivered right to your mailbox by visiting forexeasytips.com. I'll see you there.